Oh, beloved Mother, you who know so well the ways of holiness and love, teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the august mystery until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love.
Psalms are on page E13. Comment of doctors. Let him who desires accept the gift of life-giving water. O God, you are my God, for you I love, for you my soul is thirsty. My body burns for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your blood is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hand. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my heart. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouth of liars shall be silent. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Let him who desires accept the gift of life-giving water. He who hears the word and understands it bears fruit. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. On the thin string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the heart, your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox a strap. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree, 
and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green. To proclaim that the Lord is just, in him I rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He who hears the word and understands it bears fruit. The Lord chosen his servant to make him shepherd of his people.
the book of wisdom. Simply I learned about wisdom, and ungrudgingly do I share. Her riches I do not hide away, for to men she is an unfailing treasure. Those who gain this treasure wins the friendship of God, to whom the gifts they have from discipline commend them. Those who are learned will be a 
as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Pater Nostra, qui es in genis, sanctificetur nomen tu, advenia regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicud in celu et in terra, Panem nostrum codianu, da nobis podie, et dimite nobis de vita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus de vitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentatione, Ser libera nos amado. Let us pray. Father, you endowed John of the Cross with the spirit of self-denial and the love of the cross. By following his example, may we come to the eternal vision of your glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. assistance be always with us, and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who would like the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the Lord, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son, and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the spirit of Paraclete, in Mary, the mother of Jesus, and our mother. Angelus Domini Nunciabit Mariae, Er concepite Spiritus Santo, Ece ancilla domini, fiat mihi secundum erbum tuum. Er verbum caro factum est, et habitavis in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedictatur in mulieribus, et benedictus frutus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecat, Amen. Ora pro nobis, sanga dei genitrix, 